she don't play, and she my type She got brains, and them tight tides She that day, day she gon' dance Ain't gon' touch her phone She gon' let it smoke, man, she don't play Hey guys, and welcome back to Curls, Curves, and Candace It is your girl, Kirsten Nicole, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys Um me sharing with you guys um, my Shea Bassador box. This is box four. Yeah, this is box number four. So I'm going to share with you guys the contents in it and kind of play around with what's in it. Um, so yeah. So inside this box is actually something a little bit unique. It's not like a pre-made product that they have. Um, they're kind of testing like some things out. Um, and so as a Shea Bassador, we're kind of getting like the first, I guess, glances at it. And so these are like build your own products kind of, which is really interesting. Um, so the first thing inside is a recipe book because it comes with all the different stuff to make it. Um, and so the recipe book has like instructions and different recipes. Like there's a face mask, there's a hair mask, there's a cleanser, um, there's like a body scrub and all that. And so that just kind of, the book just kind of gives you instructions. Um, and so I think each Shea Bastard gets something different. Um, so in my box, I got the Moroccan clay which can be used for face clay or hair clay, which is interesting. Um, I got a sugar scrub. So this is a base. Um, and so also, I guess I should note that the it breaks it down into like step one, which is like your base. It's just a pure base, which can be like the, they have like a Aztec clay, the Moroccan clay, an oil base, sugar scrub, moisturizer, mud mask, all that. Um, and then you have like step twos, which are like your oils. And then steps threes are kind of like your, um, What's the word? It's like a, a essential oil um, and like kind of like a scent. So again, that's what the three layers are, the three dimensions, I guess. And so I have, I have the Moroccan clay, the sugar scrub. And this is a mud mask base, um, and then I also got. Oh Lord, I'm gonna mess this up. <laughs> Franken Frankenies and Merth. Jesus, I messed that up. Breaking and either mirth. Uh, we, that's what we're going to go with today. Whatever. Um, so this is step three. This is a fragrance. And then I have eucalyptus as a fragrance as well. Um, and then I guess they gave you this cute little jar to kind of mix your stuff in. Um, but I, I just have like a bowl when I make my asset clay mask anyway. I just, it's like my mask bowl. So I'll probably use that. Um, and then this fun little applicator. So it's like silicone. So that's pretty good. Because I just use a foundation brush. So I just use the e.l.f. foundation brush. When I put on my mask. Um, so yeah, so that was the contents inside this box. And so kind of looking at the recipe book, I don't think, because I, like I said, they kind of mixed and matched different boxes. So some Shea Bassadors that I've been looking at did get like certain stuff that I didn't get and I'm getting stuff that they didn't get. Um, so um, looking at the recipe book, I do, it looks like I didn't get something for step two. I got stuff for step one and three, but luckily I have like stuff that I can use for step two. Um, like I have coconut oil, so I'll just use that. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and make like a mud mask tonight. So I'm going to take my mud mask base. I'm going to take my coconut oil that I already have. And I think I'm going to do eucalyptus because this is supposed to help clear your mind and focus your mind. And I need that right now, child. And as always, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Um, be sure to keep up with me on Insta, Twitter, all of that. I will leave all those links down below. Um, and then also hit that red subscribe button. <laughs> um, and as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. But we're not going anywhere because we're just going to make the mask. So, let's get to it. Here is my mask hole, like I said. Um, it's the same mask I use when I do the Aztec Healing Clay Mask on my face. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to take the mud mask base and just a plastic spoon I'm just gonna maybe take let's start you can always add but you can't take away so here's like a scoop of the mask maybe I'll do two so, maybe, okay so like another scoop I'm probably going to need some more because it's really thick. Okay. Yeah, let's just do a little bit more. Alright, so that's that. And then next, like I said, 
another the recipe said you can take coconut oil um but i didn't get any coconut oil so this is just some coconut oil that i already have and just take a little bit of that and since this is kind of like make your own you really can't go wrong as far as like measurements and stuff so i'm just going to mix that all And then step three, like I said, taking the eucalyptus oil. I'm going to take some of that. Two, that was like three drops. Again, of step three, which is the eucalyptus oil. And there's one. Thing. I think I'm going to add some more mass because it's kind of thick right now. cleanser and just kind of rinsing my face off um, and doing that. really good the, I guess the eucalyptus um, and like I said I wasn't I was a little stuffy ish um, so that is kind of opening my stuff up um, so yeah we'll see how this cooks I'm gonna leave it on for like 10 minutes 10 15 minutes all right and I will check in it now and I probably like could have smoothed it out so I know um, but the consistency it wasn't like a for I think next time I do this I know how to make my consistencies because right now it's a little thick in some spots and you can see it's kind of like I don't know it looks like cement um but I mean I'm sure it still works the same but just kind of depends on how you like your mask if you plan on building your own mask I will say I think I'm going to start maybe adding just a few drops of eucalyptus into my regular mask like my um like I said, I use the Aztec clay mask and I usually do that with apple cider vinegar. So I may start adding just a drop of eucalyptus maybe before I go to sleep because like I said, this is really relaxing. Like I love um, the stress relief candle from Bath and Body Works anyways that has eucalyptus in it. And so yeah, this this smells like that. So um, just a little FYI, fun fact, natural it's remedy, I guess. Minutes and the mask is hard now, so I'm just going to go ahead and rinse it off and see what we're working with up underneath here. And the eucalyptus is still smelling good, so yeah. <sighs> okay, so that's that. Yeah. Okay, it's my that. Skin, oh Jesus. Skin actually feels really nice and soft. Um, I wonder, 
you know, like I'm not too sure what exactly kind of mud like the mask is. Try to see what it works. But yeah. This is really interesting. It's just so I guess it's just kind of like a pure mud bath. Yeah, so all natural, multi-benefit, and fragrance free for all skin types. This mask deeply cleanses, pores, and purifies. This is the perfect base to create a custom mud mask. Which I personally like mud masks because I really feel like those are the ones I really get inside and get all the gunk out. Um, so that was that. And since I'm, I'm going to go to bed, um, I'm just going to follow that up. Um, I have been seeing a dermatologist lately just because my skin has really been, I don't know what's going on. Um, so I'm prescribed to two topical lotions, um, for my skin, um, and I'm still kind of, I'm still just kind of starting out using them, um, so that's what I use at night, um, but I also have been using, um, this, the CeraVe, the drying, the lotion, uh, so that accompanies the cleanser, um, but like I said, I'm going to be using, um, the two creams that I have to use for my prescription, and then also... I've been, I started also using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E, their skin therapy oil for face. And I've heard great things about this, so I'm excited to kind of see some results. Um, but so yeah, so that was really interesting. Um, I'm interested to kind of see where this is going to take off for Shea Moisture as far as building your own skincare products or hair products or what have you. Um, and I'm kind of interested to play around with like the sugar scrub and stuff. Um, so yeah, if you have any... Um, recommendations on how I can spice up these different products they gave me um you know if you have any home remedies or any oil remedies or anything um let me know in the comments below and as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one bye na, 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 we're different. Sweet